Democrat versus Republican. It is crazy versus normal. You know, in the 1990s, you had the Democrats who maybe wanted to increase taxes a bit, and Republicans maybe wanted to reduce taxes a bit. Uh, this time it's different. You know, they want to make you pay seven bucks a gallon for gas because of the Green New Deal. They want you to get robbed walking back out to your car because of defunding the police. Uh, when I was a kid, there was male and female, but now I guess there are 50 or 60 genders. Um, they're teaching your kids. They literally have pornography books in the libraries at the schools. This is just unimaginable. So this is not normal times. We're in crazy times. And the thing that people re got to realize is there's no more JFK Democrats and there's no more Bill Clinton Democrats. We've got AOC, Pelosi, and Bernie Sanders, a literal about socialist. So we're in crazy territory, and I think people don't like it. And uh, they're not necessarily going to make a big stink about it, but when they go to the ballot box, they're going to choose something different, and they're going to choose me, because I stand for the America we all love and grew up in. It's, it's still optimistic today, good feelings throughout the day? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think that all the indicators we see look good, so we'll see how the results roll in. This seat is known for Republicans who have been moderates and have reached across the aisle. You know, Vern Ehlers, Paul Henry, Gerald Ford. Um, if you're elected tonight, you go to Washington, do you see anything you can work with the Democrats there on? I can reach across the aisle as good as anyone out there. Bringing down gas prices, that helps everybody. It doesn't matter if you're Democrat or Republican. Getting grocery store prices down, that helps everybody. It doesn't matter if you're Democrat or Republican. Getting crime down, that helps everybody. It doesn't matter what side you're on. Um, bringing entrepreneurship, job growth, um, wage growth, that helps everybody. It doesn't matter if you're Democrat or Republican. So everything I'm talking about, all my top priority issues are things that excite people on both sides. So I can work with anybody out there, um, no matter what side of the aisle they're on. Um, if we can come together and have uh, an agreement and both have give and take, I see no reason we can't uh, work together. So I can do that just as well as anyone. Are you excited to work for, with Nancy Pelosi if the Democrats hold on to the House? If she's got something reasonable, we'll hear it. If it's something that's out in la-la land, of course, we can't work with it. But here's an issue, for example, that Americans on both sides of the aisle support. Bringing stuff back from China and making more stuff here. The vast majority of voters support that on both sides of the aisle. So the Democrats have got something good that we can look at. Let's take a look at it. Now they try to fit in all kinds of other stuff and hide things in there. That makes it very difficult. But they're in good faith, willing to make a, the give and take on their side, and we're willing to do the same thing. I'm absolutely willing to talk to anybody on that. Our team's out knocking doors pretty heavily. We're out at events. Uh, we've been out meeting quite a few people. Uh, we've been talking to a lot of folks in the media. Uh, so pretty much the standard thing is getting our yard signs out there. A lot of people want our yard signs. Uh, so uh, we outnumber my opponent by far, probably 100 to 1 on yard signs. It's another good sign of grassroots momentum. But yeah, we're doing all the stuff. Uh, you're supposed to do text messages, get out vote calls. I'm going out there and talking to people myself. Um, I was at the precinct this morning talking to people there. So, Lord in heaven, you call us to battle for the sake of truth and goodness. And uh, we do so only with your help and the intercession of the angels and saints. And so we ask the intercession of uh, the commander of your heavenly armies upon um, all those who struggle daily um, for, um, to do your will uh, and to accomplish your will in our country. And so we pray, St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And may God bless all those who seek to do as well. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you.